Good afternoon everybody, it's now 2 o'clock, uh, I've been up, I've not done any vlogging today uh, but as I said I would do every day so uh, just to let you know what I'm kind of up to uh, it's uh, no carb day today, 2 litres of water so I had an omelette, some ham and a protein shake and some stuff for breakfast and I'm now just cracking on with some work, I've got a few days off so I'm doing this which is all my learning for my uh, online coaching and training stuff, uh, all about the body, and it's uh, it's quite dry and it's quite boring to be honest. Um, crazily enough, last night that house there um, got broken into, and their Ford Focus got stolen. So if you live in this area and you know of anyone driving a black Ford Focus ST or any shit. Let me know. Uh, but yeah, crazy man, crazy. You think you live in a safe area and uh, these people come along and you know take your shit, man. Uh, it's not good. So, um, so that's the uh, that's the plan for today. Finish up with some of this stuff. Uh, eat some food. I've got a personal training session at four o'clock, and I'll probably get you some footage of that. Say again. And one more thing. You having this? Free t-shirt, it's quite a good fit as well, isn't it? Hey guys, now it is around uh, quarter to ten to four. I'm just on time to head over to uh, InSync Farm because I've got my last PT session. So I'm going to film some of that for you and stick it up later on. Um, and uh, basically it's the last session that we're going to have. So we're going to do a really high intensity kind of interval session and uh, really try and fucking uh, get all that carbohydrates and glucose and all that energy from the body so I'm completely depleted for the carb load tomorrow. So I wanted to record some raw footage for you in case you wanted to mix up your workouts and do something a little bit different. This is a workout that Harry put together who's the PT up at InSync that I go to and it's a great little workout because it mixes everything up and it's all about variety and change and change makes you grow and we know all this and that's a little bit about what I wanted to talk about today about pushing yourself and doing things outside of your comfort zone. Uh, you know, this workout is sled pulls, uh, it's not the traditional kind of three sets of ten, it's lots of supersetting and it's basically pushing yourself and doing things that you're not used to, getting used to different movements and, you know, the reason that I did this photo shoot to try and get in shape, I'm never going to be a Rob Riches, I'm never going to be one of these people that, that, are, that are out there and, and leaders in the fitness industry. Uh, you know, in terms of my physique and aesthetics, and I'm cool with that, but what I can be is a better version of myself, and each year I go back and go back and push myself and get out of my comfort zone, and that's what it's all about. It's like when you first get a job and you're in your comfort zone, the job's really hard and it's difficult, and then over time it becomes easier and easier, and then you get in your comfort zone, and that's the worst place that you want to stay. Um, and the more i found with doing this kind of stuff, posting, putting myself out there, the more I find it's getting comfortable, and the more people are getting familiar with it and the easier it then becomes for me. So the key messages that I want to relay in this and over the top of this footage is, you know, keep progressing, keep moving forward. You are your own competition. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Aim to be a better version of yourself and yourself alone. And ignore what others say about you. One of the things I found with all this stuff is those people that matter to you the most, the people that are closest to you the most, they're the ones that support you the most. And the people that don't, people that make those snide comments and remarks and other things, they're the people that aren't really your friends, aren't really important. And, you know, it's funny over time how that kind of uh, pans out. So, um, yeah, quick finish off with this session. You can see this was an absolute uh, killer, this one, after you've done the full shoulder session, but you're really trying to go down as slow as possible. See all the footage has been sped up. Um, so lastly, really, we've got this uh, arm killer one, which is just the bar, which is 20 kilos, and you're just doing two minutes. You're trying to get to 100 reps. Once the timer kicks in, I think at one minute-ish uh, or 40 seconds, you get down, you do 10 push-ups, you carry on. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know whether we were racing here or not, but, um, yeah, you certainly beat me anyway. So, yeah, give it a try. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like. So on um, body, uh, body power on Saturday, we uh, did like a bench press challenge that I miserably failed at that was doing your own body weight for as many reps as you can. If you did it with 30, 
you got like a free, uh, about th free tub of protein. So Harry's going to give it a try. Harry's going to give it a try to see if it, if it, if it. If he'd have won a free tub of protein, or if he'd have just got it, one of his uh, bench press repeat t-shirts. What's up guys, so just finishing up uh, one of my last meals, I've got two more meals left on this low carb diet and uh, tomorrow's like 750 mils of water and this is my last meal, this is getting boring now, basically tilapia and broccoli and then I'm going to have a steak later, that's pretty much me done and 600 grams of carbs tomorrow. What so are you going to have on Wednesday? I'm going Wednesday, <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday before the shoot on the Wednesday night, so tomorrow night I'm going to have a glass of red wine, dehydrate you, <laughs> and uh, like, you know those Rice crispy Crunches, like marshmallow stuff. I'm talking about your cheat. Yeah, and then tomorrow probably, uh, Wednesday probably Domino's. And you're going to get a tub of Ben and Jerry's as well. Maybe a tub of Ben and Jerry's as well. And a cookie. And a cookie. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Oh. So quick shower, now we're heading to my parents' house. So just at my mate's house now, I'm going to pick up a new lock for my bike and a power wash because Kim said I had to power wash the driveway. Ready so, for summer. That's Not good. one day. <laughs> Not one day. It's absolutely difficult. Hello, oh, no, no, no. Is she on the vlog? Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Are we on it? Come on, put it in. <laughs> so we've got some bleach here and it's going in, but we're trying to work out how to put it in. I'm on the video. <laughs> yeah, you're on the video, mate. Get a pump. Get a pump. <laughs> um, I think put it on that mat, put it down on the side. Look at his face. <laughs> Look at his fuzz on it. What is his shock on his face now? Look at those big legs. Look at <laughs> What's he so shocked? Yeah. Bertie loved the camera. I had the camera, Bertie was like all over it. He was just like. He's old enough he's to old. know the camera though, isn't he? He's like, cheese, yeah. tight. Yeah. 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 So just here at my parents' house. Sorry, been told to hurry up. It's raining. Show you inside my parents' house. For the vlog. For the vlog. Ooh, it smells good. It smells good. Going around to your parents' house and realising how dirty your house is. A massive thanks if you've stayed this far, guys. Uh, don't forget to give this a like. Uh, I've got to get better at ending my vlogs, ending my videos, which I didn't do. So I'm just overlaying this footage to say thanks for watching. Stay posted. Uh, and, uh, yeah, keep going. Keep pushing forward. And, um, yeah, come back soon. Say again.